Thank you for watching CTR TV. I'm Christy Olds with your Five in Five. Get up to speed on five topics in five minutes. Friday, September 21st, will mark CTR's third annual Bud Wen's Random Acts of Kindness Day. Bud was a former executive vice president of the Connecticut Association of Realtors, serving in that role for nearly 20 years. He was also dedicated to volunteering and served as a state representative. Bud passed away in 2008. CTR celebrates his legacy of dignity, strength, and kindness each year on his birthday, September 21st. CTR treasurer Ted Murphy thinks it's a fabulous way to celebrate Bud's life. This is a special day. Bud Wenz was a great guy. He did so much for the association and for the real estate community in, in, in Connecticut. The most important part of this is that people start passing it on. They, they say, wow, a complete stranger? Oh, I'm going to do this to somebody else. And you know, the old thing about life is that you, uh, you are what you do. And if you continue to do great things in your life, it comes back to you in a great way. You are encouraged to do random acts of kindness on the day and throughout the year. Check out some quick and easy suggestions at ctrealtors.com slash kindness. National Association of Realtors Chief Economist Lawrence Yoon and lobbyist Joe Harris recently visited New England for the NERC conference in New Hampshire. One issue they both addressed is the strong desire for millennials to own a home, but several limitations are getting in the way. One thing we know from survey of renters is that their desire to own a property in the future remains super strong, especially among the younger generation, under 35 age group. Uh, so there is a strong desire, but the financial constraint is limiting uh, the possibility, uh, the lack of inventory, home prices rising too fast, and also student debt. Uh, but the desire to own remains very strong. Our research tells us uh, that first-time home buyers, particularly millennials, are delaying home purchases by an average of seven years because of the uh, debt that they incur from student loans. Watch for more economic information and updates from our colleagues at NAR coming very soon. The focus this month is on safety because September is Realtor Safety Month. We have a few more tips from NAR to help keep you safe as you conduct your business. One thing to keep in mind, let potential buyers walk in front of you when exploring a home. Always keep the front door open in case a quick escape is needed. Another tip is to lock your purse in your car trunk before arriving at an appointment. Carry only non-valuable business items and your cell phone. Also, do not wear expensive jewelry or watches. NAR posts a safety tip each week throughout the year. To check them out, go to nar.realtor safety. Local boards and associations continue to announce their 2018 Local Realtors of the Year. The Mid-State Association of Realtors recently honored Michelle Manter as its top realtor in 2018. Other local boards and associations will announce their Realtors of the Year in the coming weeks. CTR will announce the State Realtor of the Year next month. Tonight is the night that puts the issues most important to CT Realtors at the forefront. CTR's gubernatorial debate is at the Schubert Theater in New Haven, presented in partnership with WTNH News 8. CTR President Michael Barbaro will serve as moderator as Democrat Ned Lamont and Republican Bob Stefanowski will both be on the stage. Doors to the event open at 5 o'clock for Realtors and their guests to enjoy complimentary food and drinks. Everyone must be in their seats in the theater by 6.30 because the debate will air live on WCTX MyTV9 starting at 7. If you won't be in the audience, you can watch on your TV or go to CTR.TV for the link to watch it online. And stay with CTR TV for a full recap following the debate. That is your 5 and 5. I'm Christy Olds for CTR TV.